football is back. And if you're going to play fantasy, you might as well make a little bit of cash while you're at it. Look at these big winners from last year in FanDuel.com. Big winners. All you guys got to do is put together a winning team, just like this right here, primary example, and enter the promo code Dual Life Games. That's Dual Life Games. What's good, YouTube? Starting to know who it is. Sexy as hell host of Life Games channel, Lamont Tyson. All loving, all knowing, all damn everything. Back to give you another trucking story time during my time with Snyder National. And guys, this is going to be a story of someone being overzealous. It's also going to be a story of proper planning. And I just want you guys to be on your toes out there as you're going through things on the road and making sure your experience driving is as smooth as possible. To set the background, I've done a couple of trucking videos where I let you guys know that it was one of my missions to stay in shape while I'm on the road and get a shower every time I have to stop my truck. And the way I was going to do that was I signed up for Planet Fitness and I called Planet Fitness Corporate in the very beginning to see if truckers could park or if I could park um, outside Planet Fitness locations. They pretty much said they didn't have a problem with it, but the issue is that most of your Planet Fitnesses are owned by individual owners. So they told me just make sure that I check with all the owners before I park my truck there. So what I did was I made a giant notebook of all the Planet Fitnesses in North America because you never know where you could go. And 90% of the time, I was able to park my truck at the end of my day there, get a shower, get my workout in, work out in the morning, hit the shower, hit the road, no problem. Until we go to Social Circle, Georgia, right outside of there. You know, guys know in the trucking industry, there's a big Amazon plant out there, lots of stuff happening there, all that. And so I did my thing, went to Planet Fitness, got my shower on, and this is what the Planet Fitness location looked like. Okay, done did my shower, got everything done, and I get this knock on my window, 2 a.m. in the morning, from a George Zimmerman lookalike and wannabe, telling me that there's a boot on my truck, I'm not supposed to be there, I'm unauthorized, and all that. Mind you guys, there was another truck out there, and he ain't throw no boot on his, so after the guy wakes me up and I'm droggy and all that, I persist to tell him, well, I called the management here at this Planet Fitness. They told me I could park my truck here. He says, well, sir, did you not see the signs when you drive into the parking lot that says Unauth I mean, trucks can't park here? So I said, no, but I called Planet Fitness and they said I could be here. So I do an investigation. I hop out the truck in the place where I drove in to look for a sign and this is what I found. When you pull in from the road, which is right there, there is no visible marked sign that says no trucks because look at that. It says warning unauthorized vehicles will be booted. But what is an unauthorized vehicle? I'm parked right down there beside that Aaron. Right there is a reflection of my truck. And nowhere does it say trucks can't park when you come in. Okay. So after doing that inspection, there's no sign that says trucks can't be there. It says unauthorized vehicles can't be there. Now guys, th this individual that knocked on my window, clearly he's one of these George Zimmerman wannabe cops that couldn't make the police squad, probably couldn't make a damn EMT squad, dressed all official, he's got a gun, he's got a camera, he's got all this bull job to look like an official officer of the law or something, and he's not. So he tells me that they're going to come and tow my truck or else I got to pay them $500. I said, oh, sir, I don't have cash on me. Um, you take checks? He says, no. You take credit cards? He says, no. And I'm a Clark Howard listener, 
And I know that when people don't take all these other forms of ID and all, I mean, other forms of payment, it can literally be a scam. And so I tell this guy, well, how am I supposed to pay you? He's quick to tell me, well, you know, I can drive you to an ATM. I'm like, dude, I'm not going to no ATM. I have permission from the management here at Planet Fitness that says I can be here, period. Why are you trying to do this to me? He was like, well, the owners of the parking lot don't want you to be here. So guys, this is a lesson in education. <laughs> we got too many of these wannabe Patriot MFers out here running around thinking they know everything. I own a property. I have a tenant for commercial use. And in that agreement, you have so much of your parking space that you have to allocate for the customers that they're going to serve. No different from Planet Fitness. And so I really was angry enough to let them tow that truck. But for the sake, I didn't want to have Snyder on my back. You know, I let this guy take me down to the ATM. I got my money. I paid it to him. He took the boot off my truck. So you might be thinking, damn, sad, brother. You need to do better. Well, I did. The very next day, I called the management at Planet Fitness. They apologized profusely. They contacted the owner of the lot to let him know what happened. And to make this long story short, the George Zimmerman asshole is out of a job because he didn't even want to go and check with Planet Fitness. I showed him my Planet Fitness key tag. It didn't matter to him. He was so hell bent on he's going to get this $500 out of me that the management and the owner of that lot not only reimbursed my money, but they called this towing company to see who this guy was who didn't even want to listen to my grievances. That's how you fight the power, ladies and gentlemen. Moral of this story, guys, I want you to be safe out there. I want you to be creative in where you park so that you can get your showers and stay in shape. But you better pre-plan. And you better make sure that you have all your information lined up so that situations like this don't happen to you. And, you know, some of y'all might be about to cuss me out. You got that man out of a job. No, I didn't. I told that man, let's go inside and talk to Planet Fitness. He adamantly said it don't matter what Planet Fitness say because the owners of the parking lot don't want you here with his damn American flag hanging out of his car. So he and his American flag are probably somewhere in an unemployment line, probably to his worst nightmare, thinking he should have thought better of what he did to me. That's going to do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe, join me on Facebook at the link you see in the video description, and I'll keep you guys posted on the best things you can do while you're out there making that trucking experience safe, um, fun, and keeping your health in order as you guys deliver the goods that we need here in America across the nation. Catch you on the next one.